happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Wednesday. If you're not, praise God anyway. He'll turn it around for you. Um, I'm here to dive right into Psalms 5 with you guys today. A summary of what uh, David is talking about in Psalms 5. And um, it starts off with he's praying. And um, he's saying, listen to my thoughts, Lord. Listen to my words. Um, I'm here praying to you. Hear my prayer. And I'm going to start first thing in the morning with my prayers to you, my petitions to you, coming to you and communing with you, which we should all be doing that same thing. We should be starting our day with prayer to him and in communion with him and ending our day with prayer and you know all all day long in conversation with him um and then he talks about and it's interesting language here he talks about how the lord hates all who do evil and he detests and rejects the deceitful and bloodthirsty man now i know i've talked i've talked before about in Revelation 2, where he, uh, they're talking to the church in Ephesus, and um, where it's talking about that Jesus was, um, or the messengers to the churches was praising them, because um, like, like Jesus, they also hated the evil deeds of the Nicolaitans. Well, there it was, the specific language was the deeds, the evil deeds, not the Nicolaitans themselves. So it's interesting that... Um, David uses that language that you hate those who do the evil and of course the evil as well. Um, and I looked through all of the versions it all says it the same way. So I was interested by that. But um, you know, but it tells us the, the but you know in the New Testament it tells us that we are to love those who do evil and do good and then we hand that over to him. Um, but then it also says Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of these enemies that he's talking about that were always set against him. You know, asking the Lord, give me a clear and direct path. Um, you know, because these enemies are always trying to pull us out of that path. They're trying to stop us. They're trying to confuse us, get our, you know, our minds into chaos. And, and David he is here asking, like, I'm sure all of us have come to the Lord, and I know I'm doing that daily, asking, give me a clear path, give me a direct path, lead me, Lord, uh, so that I can do your will, which we should all be doing. Um, and also interesting language that he uses, and this is all the way throughout Psalms, and I've had to chuckle about it, but uh, David just straight out says, destroy those, you know, remove those, kill those who um, rebel against you, Lord. Take them, take them out of the way, uh, you know, stop them, cast them out. He uses that language all of the time um, in prayer to God against his enemies, again, which were numerous against him all the time. Um, but then he finally says at the end here, but those who are in right standing, and this is key, this is where we need to be um, with him always. Um, those who are in right standing with you, Lord, are surrounded with your favor as a shield. And what does this favor look like? Well, it is the whole table. It is his abundance, his goodness, health, um, protection from your enemies, peace. All of the things is what this favor looks like like because his face is shining on you because of your right standing with him because you are doing his will and that is where we need to be when we wanted to be surrounded by this uh, shield of favor and what we should all be attaining towards is to being in his will and knowing his will and we find that again it's relationship relational being at his feet and i'll be talking a lot about that so again, hope you guys are having a fabulous, fabulous Wednesday, and I will see you again with Psalm 6.